Good morning, this is Robert Scribbler. It is August 1st, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, what I'm going to do is look at a pretty stunning forecast for Europe, particularly focusing in on the Iberian Peninsula, starting Thursday and running in through early next week. And what this forecast is showing is that temperatures in this already hard hit region of Europe in parts are predicted to exceed, well exceed 40 degrees Celsius and possibly hit as high as 51 degrees Celsius <clears throat> or 47 degrees Celsius in some forecasts. Now, converting to Fahrenheit, a 51 degrees Celsius temperature is roughly equivalent to 124 degrees Fahrenheit, 123.8, and a 47 degree reading is roughly equivalent to 116 degrees Fahrenheit. So these are very, very warm temperatures, very hot temperatures, comparable to that of the Sahara Desert. Now, these are predictions coming up in the GFS model forecast and in a number of other forecasts. And um, <clears throat> it's worth noting that this is a forecast, but, but it's certainly possible that, that we would see temperatures in this range. Now, what I'm gonna do is, is look at some of the underlying factors. Uh, now, this is again a, a GFS model run through Earth Null School for Saturday, August 4th. And what we see are these very hot temperatures in Portugal and in Spain and, and running up into, through, through France as well. They're not quite as intense. <clears throat> and if you look to the south, you can see that the temperatures in the Sahara Desert are comparable to those <clears throat> that are expected for Portugal over this time period. Now what's happening is we have a high pressure system building in over Europe, and, and Europe has been under a persistent ridge pattern in the jet stream. It's basically a split in, this, uh, in which the subtropical jets running in through the Mediterranean and the, the temperate jet, the uh, upper level jet is, is bowing up to the north here, sometimes into Scandinavia. And these ridge patterns have been ushering in much warmer than normal temperatures over Europe and also enhancing the potential for wildfires and extreme drought conditions. And presently, much of Europe is now suffering from a rather severe drought and, and rather intense wildfire situation. <clears throat> and looking at anomalies, and this is, this is an anomaly map for, let's go ahead and advance this to August 4th so that we can see anomalies for a comparable time frame. What we see is that temperatures across Europe, if you look, look at the band be below here, are in the range of between two and as high as 15 degrees Celsius above average. And these, so these are very significant departures, particularly during summer. So, so what are some of the influences that are helping to drive this situation? Well, first of all, <clears throat> since soil is so dry throughout Europe, this tends to enhance daily heating. And this is an issue with summer. It's one of the issues with human-caused climate change in that as temperature rise, rises, there, there's a little bit of a compounding impact for summertime daily highs in that with higher temperatures, you get higher rates of evaporation. And these higher rates of, of evaporation in turn dry out the soil, so there's less moisture in the soil. So that as you get further and further into summer, there, there, there's actually less evaporation by volume coming from the soil. And, and so there, there's no evaporative, or there's less evaporative cooling. And this can really spike heat during the day as, as you get into summer. And that, that's one of the issues with human-caused climate change is that that process is intensified. Now, in addition, what we are seeing around Europe is 
is that sea surface temperatures surrounding Europe are are much normal are, are normal than more warmer than normal to much warmer than normal and this is a sea surface temperature anomaly Mac but I also like to call your attention to this cool pool feature south of Greenland and what this is tended to do is is generate trough patterns in the region of the North Atlantic south of Greenland and and this and it's also generating a dipole helping to generate a dipole temperature feature where warmer than normal sea surfaces near Europe and cooler than normal sea surface temperatures out in the North Atlantic are generating a, a facing ridge and trough pattern in the jet stream where you have this deep trough or deeper trough running south of Greenland and a and, and very tall and intense ridge patterns running in through Europe and and we we see this feature in the jet stream map for for August 4th where you have a dip in the jet stream running south of Greenland and a ridge pattern running in through Europe with a high pressure system building in and and this this dipole is is also a bit of a, a climate change signal a bit of a climate change influence in that Greenland melt tends to cool sea surfaces to the south of Greenland and generate this this cool pool in the North Atlantic and but you also have other regions such as the Barents Sea here which having lost sea ice tends to warm considerably and and tends to generate this this dipole that we are seeing now these are climate change related influences that are enhancing the present pattern so we want to be clear that we're talking about influences here not causes so but we do need to be aware of influences because they they have an impact on extreme weather and and presently climate change related influences are certainly enhancing various heat waves across the globe one of them being the the intense repetitive periods of heat that we have seen this year in Europe now this forecast to conclude is quite intense and and Europe has the maximum temperature for Europe ever recorded uh, according to the various reports I've been seeing is is 48 degrees Celsius so so if we do get this temperature of 51 or 49 degrees in Portugal on Thursday or Friday or Saturday or Sunday or Monday and and the forecast is is predicting above 40, 40 degrees Celsius readings in, into the 45 degrees Celsius to to up to 51 degrees Celsius in this period if we if we see that this will this will be likely be a new all-time high temperature record for Europe and and notably there are a number of climate change related features that are driving this influence they're helping to drive this influence and and overall with human caused climate change one of the primary signals is is increasing land temperatures particularly during northern hemisphere summer now thank you for joining me and i'll be chatting with you soon